I saw this topic on Xerto and I just said to myself, I got to do a quick video on this. Let me just talk on this because it's getting to a level where biohazards are getting involved. So Asmund Gold, who is a Twitch streamer and a YouTuber. So Asmund Gold admits he finally needs to clean his house and reveals disgusting living conditions. His streaming room has been iconic for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> that's that's insane. That's actually insane. So it says over time his setup became littered with trash until the mess finally reached a breaking point. So it says here while he may have cleaned his room back in 2022. And that's crazy because we're in 2024 now. So the fellow went on a sabbatical to not clean his room for two years. Door and like I'm always in my house and so I didn't really realize it. I feel like there's at least one dead animal in my house right now. I feel like I'm like like 70% sure there's one dead animal in the house right now. And it's been there for a while. But it, it's been one yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause um a bad yeah, yeah. And so cause like there's like mold and shit everywhere too. Oh my. and I feel like I'm going to clean my house. I'm going to be honest. I feel like I'm actually going to clean my house. I am. I'm going to clean my house. Because it's gotten so bad that, like, I feel like it might be debuffing me. <laughs> what? Because I remember back in a long time, like, I have never, like, you guys, again, might not believe this. Like, I can get... Fella, just clean out your room, man, and clean out the house. You're talking about mold. From when there's mold? Yeah. Nah. There's that, that's been left for ages. And um, you feel that something dead in, in the house. That's what I'm saying. Unless, like, what? There was a raccoon or something? Or a, a pigeon came into the, into the house. I thought... <laughs> something dead. Is, uh, no, I'm sorry. What was crazy is that he said he feels that it's debuffing him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy's played too much World of Warcraft. What is he talking about? It's debuffing him. This is insane behavior. I'm sorry. This is insane. Like, when I was growing up, my mom always said, well, like I said, the Caribbean household, on Saturdays, we had to do chores and we had to clean our room, clean the bathroom, you know, wash the dishes, and so on and so forth, especially for the weekends. Like, there were set things that we had to do. I remember there was a to-do list my mom used to give me and my siblings and say, you need to do this, like Darrell, take out the trash, um, clean the room, hoover out. My sisters might be cleaning, I don't know, all the mirrors in the house or something like that's what we was assigned to do. And if not, we was going to get an ass whooping. I'll be honest. Or we was going to get cussed out. Like there's no if, buts or maybes. It's like, okay, mom, we're doing this. But when you're a grown adult, like this becomes second nature, like you're already doing the basics of, you know, taking out the trash daily or the food bin and so on and so forth. But like to leave it where it becomes a biohazard for not only you, but the environment. Oh, it, it's just, it's, it's been so bad that I feel like I have to now. Cause like, I actually have, like, I tried to un, un like box my suitcase and I couldn't do it in my living room. Cause there's so much stuff in the living room. I couldn't even find a place to put it down. That's like how bad it is. Yeah, it's like actually like super, super, super bad. He's making out like you got to do Takeshi Castle skipping stones to open things in the living room. Like imagine that. Imagine like you had guests over and they come through there seeing Sprite cans, Coke cans, drink cans, various other stuff. They may have seen an odd cockroach running along the wall, mold everywhere. I'll just get the heebie jeebies and I'll just make an excuse and say, I got to go, there's an emergency. And then he's probably be like, what, what happened? I'll be like, no, this is the emergency. I need to go. Like, it's just, it will just be playing on my mind. I just feel like, Ugh. like, it's, don't get me wrong. It doesn't, ha like, a house doesn't have to be 100% spotless and, you know, you don't see a random cobweb or something. That's not what I'm saying. But, like, to this degree of where it's disgusting and you know what you're living in is filthy. There needs to be some change going on because it was like there was like there was like um, I don't know if it was like Canadian or American programs where there was like people that are hoarding stuff. They're hoarders. You might have to replace a lot of the walls. To be honest, they hold everything throughout the years. Yeah, I don't know what, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do yet. I have no idea. Are you gonna hire someone to just pick up ten cans and call the day? No, <laughs> no. I'm gonna go and um, just throw out a bunch of shit. Like um, like for example, like there's like mold all over the bathroom walls and like shit like that. And it's just it's just it's just like that's just the way it is, right? And so I have to get it clean. Yeah. No, it's just that's just the way it is.
it just never really bothered me because uh you know like my breathing is fine like i breathe just fine like i don't have any issues or anything like that like yeah it's okay but i feel like if somebody would come to clean my house like they need they need a, a mask <laughs> they would the mall might be bad for you if you live in it over time maybe yeah get a new plunger yeah cheapo yeah true eventually the time comes no it, it's just it's it's been so bad that I feel like I have to. His living conditions put him put his back against the wall, and he's like, "All right, I guess I've got to clean up my living space." <laughs> These two streamers are funny, man. They're actually comedians. Like, it don't. Sometimes I think it's a parody of like real life. There's like, there's just no way that you've allowed it to get this bad. There's no way. And if I'm looking to the side, it's because this is OBS here, but it's reversed. So it looks like I'm not looking at you. And then, yeah, but um. This is crazy. This is crazy. I just think, yeah, he's all oh, right. I guess the mold and the cockroaches and the like he's, you know, what's probably happened. He's become so accustomed to the filth that his body has allowed him to reside in that place just fine. But let's say like someone else or a stranger, if I go there and I walk through, it's probably going to hit me where like, you know, when you go to, if you have, You've gone to Caribbean island. Let's say you've gone to Barbados and you've always lived in the UK and then you go to Barbados and then soon as you get off the plane and the plane doors open, the heat hits you. You're like, whoa, like it, it's it's like someone opens the oven and just places your face there. It's like, oh, it's hot. Like, and you just feel the heat. It's a totally different thing. That's probably what's going to happen if I was to enter his house. But instead of that, just the heat, I'm going to have the smell, the biohazard. I'm going to need that face mask on like I'm playing among among us so yeah I'm gonna need that face mask on like I'm playing among us so it's just it's bizarre I, I don't want to belittle him like say you fucking living in a disgusting environment but you should have never got that bad because I know he's I'm not pocket watching but like I said he's one of the biggest twitch streamers slash youtubers just then pay someone to then just clear out the even if you don't want to I think what was his name xqc um, he paid his maid while while he was streaming. His maid came into his room <laughs> while he was streaming, and he said he felt embarrassed because she's cleaning out his living conditions or doing like his laundry and whatnot. And he's streaming. I'm like, hey, as long as you're paying her correctly, um, she may not have wanted to be on camera, but you're paying her. That's what happens. Like, that's the job. But it's just so bizarre. Where it's just like because. I remember there was a clip where there was like a cockroach on him. I'm sorry, I need to find this now. If this is it, this is crazy. Oh. There's a roach flying at me. Give me a minute. Where'd he go? Oh shit! He's on my belly. Look at him. He's right there. He got oh god. Oh my. Get him out of me. What are you doing, bro? Get out of my get go in the Any garbage can. I'm gonna take him downstairs. Give me a minute. I got I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. He right. I can't cut my mouth. Oh my Don't show this one to Izzy. Yeah, when I see that I just think of this sound effect. But yeah, Asmongold, just um just clean your house, bro. Um do it the best you can. Um, should that have been shown on stream? Absolutely not. To show that there's a cockroach running on you is the worst form because cockroaches only start, as far as I'm aware, start congregating when it's just, you know, a pile of filth in it. To get to that level is insane behavior. Um, like I said, it's debuffing him. His house is literally debuffing him. Not the character or who's leveling up, what type of armor he's wearing. His house is debuffing him. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> There's nothing more that needs to be said. It's crazy out here. It's crazy out here. But I've recorded this and hopefully you have a great day. Take care of your loved ones. Say you love them. Whoever is important in your life. Always believe in yourself. And um, don't go home until you're proud. Bosh.